Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about how to write methods in C-sharp which take lambdas as parameters. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, if you are new to c -sharp or ASP.NET Core, you have probably used methods which take lambdas as a parameter, but might not be sure how to write such methods yourself. For example, let's take a configure method from an ASP.NET Core application straight out of the box. Notice how a lambda expression is passed as an argument in the use endpoints method. How do you write a method like that? All right, let's start with the example. I will be doing the following create a model class, create an extension method which generates random data. This method will take a lambda expression as a parameter which defines how the random data is generated. And number third is create an extension method which changes mutates the properties of the model. This method also takes a lambda expression as a parameter which defines the way the properties of the model are mutated. So we will be installing uh, package dependencies faker.net if you are following along make sure to install the following package it will generate random data now I have added a new class in the model folder with name as person now create another folder and having the class of person extensions which takes person as a parameter over here it will generate random names and it will mutate Okay, now we are ready to test this out. This is a console app which uses the extension method defined on the person extension classes and model. So we will run this application. All right, so once we run this application, so we have now seen that these are randomly generated names by using faker.net and we have successfully added lambda as a parameter on this application. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned this concept of how to write lambda as a parameters in C sharp method. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.